we've done all our marking out, what I'm going to do now is this uh, shoulder knife, each and every part that needs to be cut away. So when I'm ready to cut with my uh, tenon saw, there's some gonna be some drilling here because I need to square out this before I start cutting, but I'm gonna knife each and every part that it's gonna cut out with my chisel. So that trench detail that you've probably seen me use in other videos in relation to the shoulders of tenons. So I'm gonna do that all the way through this job. Okay, starting with number one. So another thing, if you notice, right, when, I, when I'm knifing, I'm making sure the flat side is against the side that I want to show nice and crispy. The bevel side is in the waist side of the material. This is the beveled side.
Oh, so now I've keeping all the channeling ready so that I can start sawing. Is it the channel, the trenching is for my saw to, to have a nice guide as I'm doing each and every one of these uh, different housings. That's why I've done that. What okay, I've yeah, done. Yeah. So now I'm just gonna complete, or start the process of cutting each and every one of these out. What I'm doing now, I'm, I'm marking a, a setting my combination square at a 45 degree angle because I'm going to I'm going to drill some hole uh, a hole here, a hole. Uh, it's going to give me a centre point. I'm going to drill a hole there because I'm going to square out that hole and then I'm going to use my saw because at the moment I can only do that. Yes, I can't go right the way through because it's stopped. So I'm squaring, I'm getting a point done using my combination square. And where the X marks is where I'm going to drill a hole. Probably this one, I'm going to drill a series of holes, probably going about, I don't know, uh, about 25 mil down. So the next thing is get my drill bit and drill some holes uh, for this one and for that one. So I need to get a, right, so probably a 19 mil for this one and a six mil for this one here. So those are the things I'm going to count this down to the bench so that instead of having it in the price, so it's here. A bit of protection on the wood. So, I'm going to get another look. Right, so, what I'm using for drilling these is what we call Forstner bits. So this is my Forstner kit. A series of Forstner bits ranging from, well, we've got ranging from six mil to 38. A Forstner bit is this. This is, you've probably seen these. This is a Forstner bit. Okay, so I'm going to use a 6 mil and a 18, if I can call it, 18, oh, I might do it, it's cutting it a bit fine that one. I want to find a slightly smaller one. Okay, so here we go. So I'm only going to the top of there, top of the actual bit itself, not going too far. So. If 
I demonstrate on this one, you'll see what I'm, what I'm saying. Right, so I'm going to start this chilling this section out in readiness. My sharp chisel. So this going to that there. nice and gentle. I'm doing the, the second stop hours in. <laughs> I'm stopping about there. It's probably going to do another one actually. Yeah, it's going to go and do another one. Oh. Nice and slow with the trigger. Okay, and then now I'm going to do the same process that I've done with this one here. So I'm just going to chop this out. Now, there's a bit of bounce here. So I'm going to take this, take that bounce out, and I'm going to put another piece of timber and then flatten that. Back on Continue with a series of saw cuts down here, down there, probably a relief cut in the middle as well. So those two. Right, here we go. So now I'm doing the other one. So now I'm going to start chiseling away. Obviously this is a bit too wide for here. Yeah, um, yeah, it's a bit too wide. So I'm going to get a 13 mil. Let's see, go. Right, I'm going to start as we need to go on. Right, so um, I'm going to probably if not, introduce one of these, what they call a hand router. So this enables us to level off the bottom of that housing uh, evenly, even though I've gone with my chisel, yes, inside of there, but I can finally finish off and make sure it is nice and flat using a hand router. Uh, back in the day, they referred this as a granny's tooth, um, hence, uh, and you can probably see this if I look, if you look directly at it, like this will be the, the, uh, the mouth and then this blade 
if you look at it, it could be your granny's single tooth that she had back in 1800 or 1900 um, and 20. So yes, it can be referred to as a granny's tooth. Yeah. So this setting this up to the gauge line. I'm just sweeping that through there. Just making sure that's nice and tight. I'm going to start doing the stop housing, stop bare face transfer with my six mil. So this little six mil here. So what I'm following on to now is the bare face trench housing now. It's right the way through. So it's not stopped, it's right the way through. So I'm gonna chisel this out and then finally finish it off with a smaller version of the bigger hand router called a thumb router.
So, I've completed this bare face trench housing. Now I'm gonna follow through with this shouldered. Same principles, chop it net down, using my hand uh, router, or thumb router in this case, or probably I might use a, the hand router, the bigger version, under these ones. Probably will do on the, on the bigger section, except for the end. I'm gonna show you another method there. Yeah? I'm just gonna follow through now. Right. Now, I'm just going to finish off the lat end now. I'm using a different method. I'm going to just uh, get most of the waste away and then I shall use my shoulder plane to finish off the rest. Right, so now what I'm doing here now, 
This lap dovetail, because I've used the chisel, the 25 mil chisel, just to get as close as I'm going to neaten it up with my shoulder plane, this thing here. That's what we call a sh shoulder plane. So I'm just going to Just be mindful. Just go ahead and bring that down. I'm gonna come this side. 